Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we'll be talking about how to classify matter. It's... Alright everyone, so let's talk about matter. Now, as we all know, matter can be defined as anything that has mass and takes up space. But that pretty much covers everything that we can see around us. And so, as scientists, you know, we need to be able to classify things and, and put them into the categories that make sense. Well, matter can be split into two different categories. And we're going to start with pure substances. Now, what is a pure substance? Well, a pure substance is anything that has a formula. Right, so you can either find it on the periodic table of elements or you can put together those elements into a compound. All right, so that pretty much means that we can split these pure substances into two different categories. As we just said, we have elements and compounds. All right. Now, an element is anything that when you're looking at the formula has only one capital letter. Only one capital letter in that formula. Okay, for example, you could have something like carbon, right? So the formula is C. You could have something like calcium, right? Ca. But what about something like oxygen, which is O2? Now, is this still an element? Well, of course it is, because when you look at that formula, there is only one capital letter. All right, real simple. Now, what about compounds? Well, compounds are anything that is a combination of several different elements, meaning that its formula has more than one capital letter. Okay, for example, H2O, good old water. H2O, right? There's one, two different uh, capital letters in this. Or, as a lot of the kids like, glucose, right? C6, H12, O6. Good old sugar, right? So those are all compounds. Very simple. All right, so those are the pure substances. Well, what's the other category? Well, the other category is called mixtures. Now, how do you know what a mixture is? Well, a mixture is anything that's either elements and compounds that's all been put together, and there is no formula attached to this. Okay, for example, air. Right, air is a mixture because there's not a formula for air. Okay, yes, we know there is oxygen, there is nitrogen, and there's carbon dioxide and various other things that are in the air, but there is no one set formula that says this is what air is made of. Okay, so mixtures can be split into three different categories. The first category is solutions. The second category is colloids. And the third category are your suspensions. You might be thinking, what are all of those things? Well, that is an excellent question, but it is one that will have to wait until the next video. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, just comment below, or you can send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.